greetings to all. Welcome to Gauga Monitors. This is Amuja Lakshmi giving you the news. Today's headlines. With Chennai Metro Rail Limited planning to commence Phase 2, works on the elevator corridor from Kodampakkam Powerhouse to Poro Junction. Traffic on the stretch will be diverted from August 17th between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. A diversion trial was done last week. Ahead of reopening of schools for classes 10 to 12 on September 1st, the School Education Department has prepared a three-week refresher course on important concepts as students to school after a long gap. Southern Railway has resumed nearly 92% of services and is taking steps to strengthen its health infrastructure to combat a possible third wave of COVID-19, its general manager John Thomas said on Sunday. The state forest and tourism departments are to work hand-in-hand hand to promote ecotourism while the Tamil Nadu Wilderness Experience Corporation, functioning under the Forest Department, has already identified five ecotourism spots. The Tourism Department's Department is likely to look at streamlining activities such as treks and camping in forest areas. Population of those about 60 years in India has been increasing steadily since 1961 and it touched 13.8 crore in 2021. It's growing faster since 1981 due to decrease in death rate, said a study by the National Statistical Office. Virudhanagar District Administration under the guidance of collector J. Meganatha Reddy has taken up Pasumai Vidyal, a mass tree planting project to convert Porambok plots into green patches. Eco Villi, an ecological village park set up in Vilpati Panjayat in Dindakal District by retrieving about four acres of of encroached land has set an example for other local bodies to replicate and help sustain the ecosystem around them. A 23-year-old college student startup in Trichy has backed the Tamil Nadu Student Innovators 2020 Award instituted by Entrepreneurship Development and Innovation Institute Tamil Nadu. The business idea which offers waste management solution by recycling the cloth waste generated from tailor shops and wholesale textile units into household items like curtain and carpets was awarded a cash prize of rupees 1 lakh by the state government. As part of the 75th Independence Day celebrations on Sunday, Karu District Administration honored Panchayats who worked to eliminate untouchability and child marriage and people who excelled in agriculture, entrepreneurship and a few for their efforts in battling COVID-19. Collector B. Vishnu honored Papanasam Upper Dam Branch Postmaster Christo Raja during the Independence Day celebrations on Sunday for trekking over 10 km every month to deliver pension to a 110-year-old woman in a remote tribal hamlet. Individuals who rendered exception exceptional service in their fields and showed great courage in the face of adversaries were honored by Chief Minister Mr. M. K. Stalin on Sunday during the, the Independence Day celebration at Fort St. George. Animal farming is rural areas in set to get a fill up with the union government approved special livestock sector package
consisting of several programs. A total sum of rupees 9,800 crore is earmarked for the next five years. That is the end of my news. Thank you.